morning guys afternoon whatever it is <laughs> hi um we are going i have a little something as you might have seen a gopro <laughs> It's here and it's it's in an odd spot but um so we're gonna be going between the camera and the gopro today um because i got some really fun stuff to do um we've done a lot of patience working with uh bishop and we've done a lot of barrier work you know a lot of standing work a lot of things that we're really not sure what to do with him and i've i did a little bit of lunging with him the other day and he knows that and he did really well um he does not do very well with a neck rope at the moment simply because it is probably still too soon and he thinks it's a yoke. So he started acting a little like he was going to pull with like what a horse does when they have a yoke on their neck. So we're not going to do that again. He's not ready for it. Um, we're going to still work with the bride with the halter on. Um, I've got his rope halter and I'm going to put uh, a little uh, nose shipping nose band on it. Um, so it's a little fluffy and it's his little poor little nose is all red poor little guy um so we're gonna do that and man it has got it was hot i mean cold this morning which is why i have the sweatshirt on um it's like 72 this morning <laughs> it's not cold but <laughs> when it's 90 and then it's 72 in the morning it's a little chilly um so i put the sweatshirt on now i'm really regretting it but that's okay we'll live through it but i have mr darcy and check this out I got them both together. Now, why did I do this? A lot of people are going to ask. I don't know. No, just kidding. I know. What I, why I decided to do this is because um, I, let me see if I can get in between the two. Ah, oh, perfect. Here we go. That's awesome. I can get both of them in the same shot. Um, because I am going to work with him today. And it's also about pasture rotation. And this pasture that he's on can handle one horse super easy. It, it rested um, we've had a ton of rain and now today we are not going to have any rain today which is really nice and um, it'd be really kind of cool if I could fertilize today <laughs> because then tomorrow it's supposed to rain and it would really be rained in and it would be awesome but can't do that not until next week um, but uh, so anyway I decided to put him over there and Jarvis is over here by himself um, he'll get used to it he'll cry He's been by himself for two weeks, so a little bit more than two weeks. So Mr. Big White and Fluffy can get over it for a little while, um, which will allow that pasture that's behind you guys um, to rest a little bit. Won't have both of them grazing on it at the same time. And this one can handle the two horses for a couple of days. Um, so we're gonna leave him in with him, and then another couple of days we're gonna swap him out and um, make sure Mr. Big White and Fluffy doesn't get all rude. So. I knew Darcy is really just super calm and easygoing, and he's pretty super calm and easygoing. And uh, when I brought them in, I don't know if the GoPro picked it up or not, but if it did, I'll, I'll put it in there. You ready? Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on, D. Come on, bud. Let's go eat your food. Come on. Come on, come on. Come and eat. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, come on. Come and eat. Come on, come on. Oh, we'll put the gate. Maybe he wants to have it open the other way. Come on. Come and eat. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go and eat. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, eat. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, eat. There you go. Good boy. You get to stay there. Mandars. Hey, come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Here's your food. There you go. Good boy. 
There, good job. That was easy. Just a little bit of ear pin, not too bad. And um, there was, it was uneventful. You know, he walked around and they both pinned their ears at each other and he went over to his bucket and he stayed in his bucket. So I know he is going to bond with Jarvis fairly quickly. Um, simply because they they kind of did um, while they were on the walk. They did a really good job walking together and they didn't, there was no ear pinning or anything. No reaction really. It was just more like, hey, hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, cool. You know, let's just go for a walk. So with him, it was a little different. It was more like Darcy was being Darcy and he was just more of like a, um, eh, go away. <laughs> you bother me, kid. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I put the two of them together first, um, simply because I think it would work out better. And then after a walk with him and Mr. Big White and Fluffy, um, we'll just put the two of them out, turn them out together. Um, and that should be fine and we shouldn't have any problems or fights or anything. So, but, uh, Mr. Jealous already. <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there? <laughs> You're supposed to be over here with me. That's what's going through his head. So, um, that was phase one, I guess, of today. Uh, it wasn't really all that great and the, it went together just fine. Um, so I'm sure he'll be happy to have a friend and he will be happy to not care to have a friend. <laughs> um, so he'll be going back into his stall and stuff like that, which I have to muck out. But um, the rest of the day, getting back to that, um, we're gonna test out maybe a little ride, maybe, we'll see. Um, I put out some alfalfa with him earlier today and I got up on the mounting block, which I brought out next to him and I brushed him and stuff like that. And I put my weight on him and he was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I think he'll be okay. Um, I'm going to do some groundwork with the halter with him in there. So maybe it'll be different. Maybe he'll act differently with Darcy in here. Um, I'm going to let the two of them probably hang out for like an hour and observe them and uh, see what happens because uh, I'm pretty sure they'll be all right. Darcy will probably get mad at him once or twice and maybe try to kick out at him because um, that's what Darcy does, but he doesn't really get very high up on his back legs. So <laughs> he doesn't really have much power behind the, those kicks anymore. And I don't think he does either. So I think the two old grumpy men are going to be just fine together. So uh, with that, uh, let's just kind of hang out here and watch them after they eat their breakfast and and see where the day takes us. Now, there's hay and alfalfa under the tree, but the tree is where Darcy likes to stand. He's telling him, go away. This is where I stay. <laughs> this is my, my tree. This is where I stand. You stand out there. That's what that was all about. I'll let you stand with me later. Till I get to know you better. I don't know if it's coming across very well, but um, Darcy, well, he's standing just fine, but he was, he did have a little bit of an ear pin just a minute ago. 
but Bishop is very respectful. And uh, he's, he understands he's odd man out. And he's going to have to be respectful to Darcy in order to be, to be let in. Darcy says, I get the best place to stand. I'm going to stand here. And you get to stand out in the sun. Because this is my spot. And he's got his ears pinned a little bit. He's telling him back off. That's too close. He says, that's too close. You better get away. That's too close. <laughs> this is my spot. This is my tree. You're too close. And then that's far enough away. Bishop's like, yeah, I get it. Don't be an ass. <laughs> Darcy says, this is my hay. You stand out there. And he's going to move him. He just as asserts his authority a little bit and says, I'm going to make you move. So Darcy decided to go back over to the alfalfa. And as he felt that uh, he had told Bishop enough that, you know, that's far enough away. You're not allowed to stand here with me. And Bishop says, that's fine. I'll stand out here. I'll eat the grass. It's not bad. It's good grass. And I'm sure if Bishop decides to turn around, Darcy will catch it and turn around himself and tell him, stay away. This is my tree. I don't want you hanging out with me yet. I don't know you. Let's see how, how nice Bishop is going to be when he comes in. Let's see how he asks. Let's see what happens. I'm going to guess Bishop's going to take three more steps and Darcy's going to turn around. Bishop's going to be. <laughs> so Bishop is, is being very nice and very quietly coming in. One, two, let's see. I think that's just a swish of tail, but I don't see Darcy's ears moving. Bishop wants to come in and eat the alfalfa, so he's going to be patient. Darcy says, wait a minute, that's a little too close. See, that's about three steps. Bishop's going to take one step away and be like, all right, I get it. But I'm still going to come in and be nice, but I get it. See, him bend away when Darcy looked at him. He's like, I get it. I'll move away just a little bit. So apparently that's the safe distance with Darcy at the moment, where he knows he's not going to get chased away and he can be comfortable and Darcy will deal with him. Now, I bet you if Darcy moves to the other side of the tree, he'll come in a little bit closer because he'll know that there's an object behind between the two of them, but I don't think he'll do it right now. He's asking. <laughs> there's no tension. Darcy sees him. He says, nah, I don't think so. I'm not happy with you being right here. See, I don't know if you can see his ears. He says, I'm not happy, but I'm not going to chase you away. Yep, his ears just went back. A little tail swish. But Bishop did not move his head back. He just left his head kind of there towards Darcy. Yeah, see, now he looked away. Now he's going to try to come in. How quickly, how far can I push him? <laughs> he hasn't come in. Darcy's like, stay away. Don't you come in. I'm going to go after you. You come in. You see a nice wide berth. And he's going to go around the tree. Um, <laughs> maybe if I can get him around the other side of the tree. See, told you. Darcy says, nope. I'm not happy with you here. Now I'm going to chase you off. 
I'm going to tell you, you pushed your limits, buddy. And that's exactly what he did. You pushed it. I'm not ready. <laughs> Bishop's going to start all over again. <laughs> Take a neutral position. Hi. Hi. Ooh, I got an apple. Hi. I saw. I saw what everything was doing. I did. Yep, I did. You ready to have some fun today? Yeah. I think so. I'm not gonna have too too much fun because then we won't have anything else to do. I gotta really tie these together. Okay. Alright. So I have that one's a little tight, so that's okay. Um reins which are actually over my shoulder, so if he starts to walk away, it's probably not a good idea. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. Yeah, I think so. Here, have another carrot, another apple. There you go. Good job. You. <laughs> I know, they're in that pocket. Yeah, they are. You gotta be nice about it. Want to be nice about it? No? No? Up here? Come on. Come on. There you go. Good job. <laughs> We're going to um, see how he is on the ground first. Um, and as far as control with the reins, because he's had a bit before, and we don't do bits here. We don't do bits in the mouth. You just scratch all that on that tree. I know, I watched you rubbing your head. He's got like tree stuff all in his mane now. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna walk him from behind kind of like this and I'm gonna give him subtle cues to see if he will go right and left. Put that up there and we shall do that. Actually, you know what? We need to put, we need to do it this way this over your head like so that's how we need to do it okay now normally we could do it this way and I could walk so we're going to walk and uh, see how he reacts to I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I will do my best okay walk on walk on no he doesn't know that one okay let's see if he knows this one A slight pressure to the side. There we go. Just a little bit. I'm about this side. Oh, there you go. Hey, very good. Do it again on this side. No, that's not what I want. No. We're gonna hold it on that side. There. Now he just gave himself pressure. Nope. There we go. Oh. Good boy. Go this way. See if he flexes. Come on. Yeah. Well, that's, I didn't ask it back up, but that's okay. He decided to give to the pressure I was giving, so that's okay. Do it again. There, good. Do this side. We got him um, pulling on the other side. Increasing the pressure. Waiting for him to give me his head just a little bit on that side, and he's not. There. There, he did. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to get a little bit higher on him. I'm not going to get on him. Not yet. I want to see if he'll turn his head. So you guys will have a better, better picture this way. I'm going to go like this as if I was on him. There, good. Good boy. Good boy. job. Good boy. And we're gonna 
<laughs> oh, I think that part is like poking him in the head. Hold on. Let's tuck those down. Tuck that in there. Maybe though I won't. Maybe it was bothering him there. This is not the best setup, but it'll do until the new one comes in. Because these are pretty scratchy. All right, let's try again. All right, so I'm going to pretend I'm over here. Very good. Over here. Very good. Good job. Good job. I mean, apple. All right. So he definitely knows a little bit. We're back. Now, let me take a picture of his back real quick. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put my, my weight on him a little bit and then get off. There, very good. Put my weight on him again, a little bit longer, and then wait and get off. Move those flies off of him. Good job. Need an apple. Good job, good job. There, you didn't think you were gonna get so many treats today, did you? sorts of flies or something on him. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit more weight on him after I brush him off a minute and see how well he handles more weight. Oh, very good. I'm going to rub his side and his shoulder and I'm going to get off, tell him he's a good boy and give him an apple. I'm going to get off, give him a bunch of release, tell him he's good, give him a look forward, and give him an apple. Yes, you did good. Okay. There we go. Let's try again. I get to rub his side and his bum. And give him a little pat. Tell him he's a good boy. Good boy. Now oh, those crazy flies, aren't they? Ugh. I'm not going to give you a treat for moving away, though. But let's try the other side. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Fantastic idea. Because we're gonna—he's going to have to know that we mount from both sides. So we start over. We go up. Tell me he's good. A little weight, and then get off. And get down, and give him an apple. He's been good. Okay, do it again. Get up, put a little bit of weight on him. A little bit longer. Give him a little bit of release. Back up, and give him an apple. Good job. So the next thing is we're going to put on more weight. We're going to hang out here for a minute, tell him he's good. Good boy. There's a sigh. I like that. Okay, I'm not going to give him 100%. And we're going to give him a little cue to turn his head. And give him an apple. Good job. Good boy. And we're going to give him release. And he did good. He did fantastic. Yep, yeah, you get another piece of apple. You do. Yeah, good job. So he's good with both the, both sides, which is amazing. I like that. Now, let's see if we can get on you, huh? What do you think about a big guy? Yeah, you like that idea? I don't think you're gonna like the idea. No, you don't like that idea? Are you ready? Because I have a few more apples in my pocket. And that's only if you're good. Yeah, I got two. Three, two. I got two apples in my pocket. But you have to let me get on you. And 
Everybody always gets on on the left side. I think. Right side, left side. I don't know. But I know I'm going to have to jump. So. There, he's, he's okay. There. I think he'll be okay. If I give him a quick little jump up and then I'll get off. Well, hold on. i got to move this down a little bit. Let's go on the other side. You're a little bit higher up on that side. There. I'm a little lower on that side. Ah, there we are. <laughs> That's much better. I won't have to jump so high. Good boy. And I'm so little, so I think it'll be okay. There. And I slide off until I'm a good boy. Good boy. Do it again. Ready? Good boy. And I'll slide off. Good boy. Good boy. And this time I'll get on and I will slide my leg over. And he is very, very good. And I'll reach up and give him an apple. He missed it. He's on the ground. Now, I'm just going to sit here. Tell me he's good. And, let's see. Let's see, can we do the apple thing again? There, you got it this time. The other one's on the ground. Okay. Oh, that's not too difficult. some big vultures that just flew out of that tree over there <laughs> well look where I am um, the yep, yeah, we're just we're just hanging out um, we did quite a bit of, of trying out before we got on and I'm not asking him to do anything I'm just sitting here and I'm being nice and quiet and he's doing very good at paying attention but I'm gonna let him walk at Liberty and do something on his own just let him know that he's good he's a good boy I'm gonna be nice to him and gentle that I'm not always gonna ask him to do anything when I'm on his back I'm just gonna sit and be quiet and just let him relax and do whatever he wants to do okay so we have been standing here for just a little bit and uh, I'm gonna see how much he knows um, in the video, the guy was spurring him a lot um, to make him go and to make him to turn and stuff, and he had a bit in his mouth. So, uh, good boy. So I was going to give him a little squeeze, but he decided to turn on his own. Good boy. All right. So, picked up my reins a little bit. You want to go check that out? You can go check it out. You can go check it out if you want. These are um, really nice reins. These are 10 foot long reins. Ones I use for Jarvis. Well, you can go over there. I'll let you. There you go. Walk on. Gave him a little squeeze. He didn't really know what I wanted him to do. But he listened. I'm sure he doesn't really know what I'm asking too too much because he's probably used to having a pain bit in his mouth. I know. What is it? <laughs> good boy. Licking and chewing. This is new. This is good for him. He's learning. Good boy. Can you walk on? Give him a little bit more of a squeeze and he didn't know that. Walk on. 
not paying attention. There we go. Now I get ears. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. Can we go this way? Gentle. There you go. Very good. How about this way? A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There. Good job. There. We're going to do some liberty walking. I'll let him go wherever he wants. There we go. Good job. <laughs> as long as he doesn't go too close to Darcy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> nope. Come on. Walk on. There. Good boy. One step. That's perfect in the right direction. That's what I wanted. Good boy. You guys can't see it because you're on the GoPro, but um, I can see his feet and I can feel his back muscles moving. So I know what he's going to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, when we make it back over there, then I'll get off. <laughs> so let's try again. Very good. Nope. Don't want to go that way. Nope. 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 I'm not asking you to back up. <laughs> he doesn't understand. So let's go this way. There you go. So I'm going to be making my hands very, very wide. Um, so we can understand the pull. A lot of horses don't understand these side pulls because they're used to in his face. So that's the right. That's the left. Come on, give me your head a minute. There, a little try. Very good, very good. And then we're going to do it again. Right, you got that down pat. And then left. Left. There, good. There, left again. Come on. There, good. Very good. Good boy. Now, I wasn't going to do right because he was already starting to look right, so we're going to go left again. I mean, right again. Sorry. The dog's barking. Come on. There, good boy. Good boy. We're going to go again. There, good. This side. Come on. I'm going to hold. The oh, he's pooping. I'm going to lean forward a little bit while he poops. All right. Nope. Oh. All right. Try again. All right. All right. I'm holding the pressure. There. Good job. Good boy. This side. I'm holding the pressure. There. Good boy. Try this side. Yes, very good. This side. Now this is basically teaching him, good boy, that um, when he feels pressure on one side, like over here, he's to look that way. And when he feels pressure on this side, he's to look this way. And this is how, the best way that I know to teach a horse, I know this flies and he's going bananas right now. So he's kicking with his back legs. <laughs> he's he's going to walk on here in a minute just to get away from these flies. I know, I know. You didn't let me put fly spray on you, so. This is a bad spot to be in, buddy. But you wanted to be here. So let's try that again. There. Hold it again. I want a little bit more. Holding. There. Very good. Very good. Let's do it again on this side. There, very good. A little bit more. A little more. Very good. Very good boy. Good job. Do it again on this side. Very good. Very good. You are very smart. Good boy. Good boy. Now, get you back up just a minute. I'm going to sit heavy in my seat. Ask him to pull back on both reins to ask him to back up. There, I got one step to go back. That was very good. Good job. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna go left, a little bit of pressure. Very good, that was fantastic, fantastic. Do it again, legs on, good job. 
He's so sensitive. Now this side, I want to see how quickly. Get a little bit more. Very good. Very good. Good boy. You are very good. Okay, so we've got the right and the left kind of down pat. Um, I am going to go, let's see. Let's try this. Whoa. Very good. Whoa. Now I'm, going, I'm not going to be as drastic as I was before and see if he picks up on it still. It's all right. All right let's give him a good rub it. Yes, good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to give him just a little bit on this side and a little bit of... He's got something that's he's driving him crazy right now. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. His withers are twitching like crazy. You ready, bud? All right, so I'm going to pull a little bit on this side. Just back. Give him the leg. But I don't want him to go backwards. No. Nope. I want you to turn your head. There. Very good. Very good. Good boy. Now, the way horses learn is through pressure and release. Now this is pressure, pulling and release. And your timing has to be just right. Otherwise, they won't learn. Yes, I know. And it's when they learn, when you give them the release of the pressure, that's when they realize that is, that's what you wanted. That's how you speak horse, is when you release them from the pressure and they, they are from doing what you're asking. So think of it as like a little two-year-old that has gone shopping with you all. And um, as you're shopping, your two-year-old asks you if they can have a piece of candy. And you say no. And they throw a fit and they throw themselves on the ground. Now, as a, a, an adult, that is undesirable behavior for a two-year-old. So what do you do? You give them the candy and they get up and they come out of the store and then the next time it's going to be worse because they know they can get away with it. They know they can throw a fit if they want a piece of candy and you'll give in and it'll be worse if you don't. So with horses, it's kind of the same way is if they want that piece of candy and they throw a fit and you don't give it to them, eventually the fit will stop. And that's when you reward them. That's when you say, okay, you behaved yourself. You can have a piece of candy now. So the next time you go to the store and they want a piece of candy, they'll be patient because they know if they behave and they do what you ask, then they get the piece of candy. So that's psychology, horse psychology 101. And the best way to think about it when you're training a horse. So. Let's see if I can get him to move forward again. Walk on. I'm giving him there. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, now let's get him to turn left. Very good. Now that's all I wanted. I didn't really want him to go forward. I just wanted him to turn when I had very subtle pressure, right? Now let's go right. Now he gave me a little bit, so I'm gonna let him let him have it. That's a win for him. Let's try again. Perfect, perfect, absolutely. That's what I wanted. Good job, good job. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna end that there. I think that was a fantastic learning lesson for him. We're gonna put the reins up. We're gonna lean forward, slide our legs backwards, and slide off. So, well, when he puts his head back up, stand still. I always put my hand down. Very good. Very good. You did fantastic. Now I'm going to take this halter off. I'm going to take our, our reins. Put them over his head. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're kind of tangled. Alright. We're going to take this off. And you, sir, did amazing pretty well. Great job. Yeah, great job. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good boy. Now I'm going to release the pressure that I've had on him and see if he comes to me, just out of curiosity. 
He probably won't. He's like, yeah, I'm done. Oh, that's not a lot as far as, you know, seeing what we were doing. Um, but I hope I explained everything as I was going along and, uh, man, my hands are all dirty. <laughs> um, and that you guys kind of picked up on what it was that I was uh, trying to do and trying to show you as to what he was doing. Um, if any of you have any tips on what we could do to make it easier for him and better, then I'm all ears. So next time, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to try to get him to go all the way back to where we started. And um, I think that'll be good. So for the first ride, I think that was pretty good considering Darcy was being a little bit of a jerk. So have a great day, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow on Summerfield Farms and Draft Horses.